Among the many people seeking refuge in the European Union every year, there are also pregnant women and unaccompanied minors. Many have been told being pregnant or a minor guarantees you asylum in the European Union. The traffickers told us refugees, if you are 20 or 21, then make yourselves younger, because it will be to your advantage. Then they cannot deport you. But is this really the case? What is the difference if you come as an unaccompanied minor or pregnant? What is true is that these two groups are considered to be particularly vulnerable. Therefore, they may be entitled to specific conditions and guarantees. Ganz zentral ist, dass es europäisches Recht und internationales Recht gibt, was sie erstmal in der Aufnahmesituation schützt. Nämlich gewährleisten soll, dass sie menschenwürdig aufgenommen werden, kindgerecht aufgenommen werden, dass als schwangere Frau ihre medizinischen Bedürfnisse erfüllt werden, dass sie adäquat betreut werden. But being pregnant or an unaccompanied minor does not automatically qualify you for international protection. You must go through the same application process as any other person. Refugee status can be granted when there is a danger of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality and political opinion. Subsidiary protection is granted to persons who do not qualify for refugee status but would face a risk of suffering serious harm in their home country, like the death penalty or conflict and war. A deportation ban can be determined if somebody does not qualify for either the refugee status or for the subsidiary protection, but being deported would mean a violation of the European Convention on Human Rights or a considerable danger to life, limb or freedom. Toleration is not a residence permit, but means a deportation is only temporarily suspended. This can be granted if a person is not fit for travel or important papers are missing. Schwangere werden in aller Regel nicht abgeschoben, sondern bekommen mindestens eine Duldung. Es ist schon richtig, dass Kinder zum Beispiel nicht abgeschoben werden. Aber das heißt noch lange nicht, dass Kinder auch sofort als Flüchtlinge anerkannt werden. Außerdem werden auch Kinder irgendwann mal 18. The question is, what happens after minors come of age and pregnant women have given birth? Well, it can be that in the end they can stay in an EU country, for example, if they have been there for a long time and are well integrated. Dass sie schon ein Teil der Gesellschaft sind, dass sie Ausbildung machen, dass sie arbeiten oder dass sie andere, dass sie einfach angekommen sind, dann diskutiert man selbstverständlich auch über dauerhafte Bleiberechte. Das macht Deutschland, das machen auch alle EU-Staaten mit verschiedenen Termini. Amnestie, Bleiberechtsregelung, Altfallregelung. So every case is unique. Another myth that many people are told is that babies born in an EU country automatically receive the country's nationality. This is not true. The 1997 European Convention on Nationality says states shall grant their nationality to any child born on their territory who would be stateless otherwise. That is something that sometimes happens to babies of refugees and migrants. Because the parents are, for example, not able to register with the authorities of their country of origin. But in practice, this rule remains ineffective. Some EU member states are not party to the Convention at all. Others have failed to effectively include it in their national law. So summing it up, being pregnant or a minor does not guarantee you asylum in the European Union. According to the EU Agency for Asylum, you should temporarily receive special protection. But whether in the long term you are entitled to refugee status or subsidiary protection is a different question.